Hello, my baby boy. Hello, my baby girl. Being attacked with love. With love. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I, I got caught you sleeping with Holly on you last night. That was really. Oh. Henry, I love you too, Bubba. Good morning. Vlogmas day eight. Eight? Nine? Something. Henry likes to sit on top of the cat tree. Henry, you're not a cat. Watching Lindsay Hughes Vlogmas, catching up on Vlogmas today while editing Vlogmas. <laughs> yeah. Couples goals, couples goals, couples goals. Lindsay and Sean are so cute, and it makes me so happy that they are so happy. Ooh, guys, I look like a toe. <laughs> I look like a freaking toe this morning. I'm about to make a big with some vegan belt there. For breakfast. I don't know what this accent is. I'm putting you guys in the cabinet. Oh my god, these dark circles though. This natural hair. I feel very Harry Styles. <laughs> my hair is natural and it's like middle part of like, yeah, I should have like a top knot. I don't know what I'm saying. Not big holes! So I'm gonna have one. This is such a creepy freaking smiling face. Terrifying. Okay. Yes! Yes! Rainbow bagel, Christmas rainbow bagel. Yes! Have a bagel and another cup of coffee. The knife we use to cut the bagels because it is serrated. I'm going to have a like dark roast K cup to top off the one that I've already been sipping on. Oh shoot, I gotta go upstairs and take my medicine. I take like a uh, mini aspirin every day ever since I had the like complex migraine and slash mini stroke thing and um take a bunch of like vitamins and stuff too so i take those in the morning because if i don't i'll forget <sighs> i almost went to close this cabinet that you guys are literally sitting in yeah so i'm drinking the pacific bold coffee it came in like a hundred and something bajillion count from um costco yeah so let's toast this sucker let's get the the vegan dairy out because I need some almond milk and some butter. Okay. Oh shoot, do I not have vegan butter? I think there's still some. I thought there was still some in here. Maybe not. Shoot. Oh no, but I did buy some vegan earth balance. Or I think all earth balance is vegan. I don't really know. Non-dairy. No dairy for this girl. Favorite almond milk, Califia Farms, unsweetened almond milk. It's carrageen, gene and free. I don't know what that is. English is hard to speak when you haven't had at least two cups of coffee. <laughs> Why did the thing turn off? Why are you not brewing me the coffee? I need coffee. I need coffee. I need coffee. Almond milk is 50% more calcium in it than regular milk. Which is good because people are usually like, how do you get your protein? How do you get your calcium? Do I look thin now, guys? Who am I? I'm a sleepy girl. That's what I am. I need some more coffee. I'm also not even in focus. It's like focusing on the kitchen and not on me. Oh, shoot. This is the one that I... <laughs> Hold on. There was one that was already open because my mom bought two. Almond milk is a hot commodity in this household. That is faux show. Stop burning me. Okay, let's butter this sucker. Yeah, see this is the, the earth balance. Oh no, this is smart balance. But it's like the same thing. I looked at it, it's like a, like a vegetable oil based butter. It's like margarine essentially. No dairy for this girl. Look at this girl. What you do in there? What you got there? And um, you think I could maybe have some of that? Like maybe you, you think that maybe I could have some of that? Butter, 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 butter. What the even heck? How was this a seven minute clip? I'm gonna leave now so I can enjoy my breakfast and stop pissing you guys off with my ugly face. Meh. Okay, doggies, come here. Who likes to go potties? Oh, Holly, you have a jacket now. Come here. Come here. Come on. like, oh, I don't know if I want that. It's snowing, honey.
honey, you gotta put your jacket on. Come here. That's probably gonna, it'll keep it warm enough. There you go. It's not waterproof. There you go. There you go. There we are. There you You've go. been reborn, Holly. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but I was going to take them out one at a time. What do you think? Can I have her? Look at she. I have a couple of posts, but I'm having a hard time getting the right size for her. Yes, because she's so petite, but she's so long. Little puppy. Little puppy. That's probably better because it covers her belly. Just take her out. Okay. I'm wearing Thomas's work boots, which are a size 13, which is like a woman's size 15. And I'm a size nine. <laughs> like, they're like water skis. All right, Holly, you're next, sir. I'll be back for you. Come on, let's go out in the snow. Holly, it's your first big snow. It's your first big snow, come on. Whoa, come on, it's chilly. Gotta do this nice and <laughs> gotta do this nice and quick. Come on! Oh, she's so excited! You have to go and eat the snow. Just don't eat the yellow snow. Come on, Holly! What is it? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's so Christmassy. So much snow. Yeah, we're having a snowstorm. Nothing too crazy. I think they said four to six inches. Come on, Holly, let's go potties. Gotta be patient with her because she's so excited. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, let's go potties. She's like, what is this stuff? What is it? Oh my God. Holly. Maybe she'll settle down and actually go. Oh my God. Holly, potties, come on. She's like, um, no, I'm just so excited. Holly, do you have to go potties? Holly? Holly? I'm gonna take you back inside if you don't wanna go potties. Come on, let's go, let's do our peepees. <laughs> Spaz McGee. Hey, spazzy butt. Today is one of those freaking days where I can save my jam jams all day, hang out with my dogs by the fire. I just went upstairs so I could take my medicine. We're gonna decorate the Christmas tree today. It's a good freaking day, guys. It's already 11.15 and I'm like, I just wanna cuddle. She's so warm. My little baby, my little baby. You know, at the ooh, doctor's ooh, office when he's fussy, Judy found it. It's so cute. Aw. Wow. Christmas. Wow. <laughs> he just peeked out from behind the tree. <laughs> this tree is a big, big baby. Big baby. It's so big. I'm not in fight. Do you like your mantle? Do you like what I did with the place? I love it. She's hesitating. No? You don't like it? It's pretty. Is that not what you meant? Is that not what you wanted? No, it's fine. I like it. It's I'm concentrating on something fine. else right now. Hey guys, pausing the vlog, this video that I'm watching. I am kind of tidying my room right now, so I thought I would do like a time lapse while I tidy it because there are things that have just like built up throughout the week that I'm like, I need to do this. You know, just kind of get my life together. I have some clothes that were on my Depop, but I'm gonna take them off and donate them to Goodwill because they haven't sold yet. And I'm just like, at this point, I might as well just donate them before it gets too close to Christmas. And I have some books that I have to add to my bookshelf that have been underneath my bed for like five ever. So there's, there's stuff that needs to be done around here. I'm gonna watch some Vlogmas videos. Speed cleaning time. Woohoo!
Bubba, hi little baby. Sleeping all cuddled up. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. I didn't, oh, I'm very zoomed in. I didn't tell you guys, woo, that I changed my clothes. <laughs> I didn't really give you an explanation. I just felt kind of sweaty, so I put on a different long sleeves top and comfy pants. Uh, because I had slept in those all night and I wasn't wearing a bra and I was like, you know what? I'll put on a sports bra and a comfy top. My battery light is blinking, so I think I'm gonna charge you guys for a little bit, take a little break. I don't know how I feel about the tree with like the big balls. They might be too big. Also, how obnoxious are those blinking colored lights, but I kind of love them. It's almost three o'clock and all I've eaten today was a bagel. So I'm making some lunch. Just making one of these Boca Burger chicken things. I kind of burnt it a little bit, but it should be fine. Let's move that baby over onto a bulky roll. I made this chipotle, not chipotle, but like chili garlic aioli type thing with the just mayo. And then I put some pickles on there. And because I am the guy from SpongeBob that literally is like, no pickles and hides them all under his tongue because he loves pickles um i bit them so more would fit on the bun and then i have some thinly sliced avocado that i'm gonna put on there right now Ooh, she's very ripe kind of floppy some avocado on that chicken it's not real chicken you guys know i'm a vegan so it's like a fake chicken i think that's enough for the sandwich and i'll probably just eat the rest of the avocado out of it normally because I love me some shmato. Shmato cavo. Bon appetit. Um, I have some leftover brown rice and quinoa. I made it overnight. And I probably won't even put it on the plate because it'll be easier to just eat out of this container. And then I do have this open bag of Lay's Wavy potato chips that I've been crunching on. So, not gonna lie to you guys. Keeping it real. This is not that healthy, but... I'm gonna dig in. All right, so I've been planning on making eggplant for like this entire week and I have an eggplant in the fridge that I still haven't cooked up and we have a butternut squash that I've also been meaning to cook. So I thought I would show you guys how I cook these things this evening. Um, it's like four o'clock right now, so they'll probably be ready in maybe like an hour and a half or so. Mom is currently putting the lights on the tree so we can decorate it and everything's going swimmingly. Snow update before it gets dark. It's coming down. It's a lot of snow out there, ladies and gents. That's for sure. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to cut the eggplant into like thin slices. So now that you have all your eggplant, you're going to liberally salt each of them and then put them in like a strainer with paper towel. This will help to kind of like cut out any bitterness um, that the eggplant might have since eggplant can be kind of on the bitter side. And you're gonna let this rest for 15 minutes. This isn't my recipe, it's something that I have pinned to my Pinterest board, so if you're interested in checking it out, I'll have my Pinterest linked down below and you can go check out my eggplant, my favorite eggplant recipe. It's not mine, I didn't come up with it, no credit, just passing forward a really good recipe. like multiple layers of eggplant underneath each of these paper towels. They are all salted and kind of draining. See how it like drains the liquid out there? So I'm gonna put another paper towel. It's kind of tough to do with one hand. On top of these bad boys. And we're just gonna set this off to the side for 15 minutes to let that kind of salt and rest. In the meantime, the recipe says to make pasta. Um, if you want 
than to preheat the oven, but I'm going to hold off on that and prepare the butternut squash instead because we're not eating this right this very second. So now I have this butternut squash that I'm going to cut up and, you know, handle. squash <laughs> it like it was a pretty big big guy so that took me 13 minutes to do to cut all of this up and now I'm going to put some olive oil and seasoning on it we're also gonna preheat that oven to 375 375 there we go all right so let's season these bad boys so we're gonna do some black pepper do some ginger garlic powder, salt, this is a pink Himalayan sea salt. We need onion powder, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Because this is a really nice mix of, I'm like squatting down, of the savory you get from the garlic and the onion and the kind of like sweet, festive kind of feelings of Christmas that you get from the cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. So this is like a huge freaking thick of olive oil. You're gonna pour it on the squash and then add the seasonings and just kind of toss it to distribute all of it. So we got the salt. That is our eggplant, which is done soaking, so we can get that going soon. We got the cinnamon, got some nutmeg, some onion powder, some black pepper. Be careful with this ginger, just a little bit. Came out in a chunk, ah, oh, fudge. And this freaking stuff will make your entire house smell so good. And then if you have some sage, I would put some fresh sage on it too. And then you're gonna just kind of mush it all around, not mush it, but you know what I'm saying, just kind of like spoon it around so the olive oil gets to coat the bottom of the pan so nothing sticks or burns and all of the pieces of squash have the spices on there. And we're gonna put that in there for a half hour and then check on them and see how they're doing. So now, while those cook, we're gonna get back into preparing our eggplant for the eggplant parm. I think this is the step where you do like the um, cornstarch and the almond milk with um, the breadcrumbs and Parmesan and that kind of stuff to get ready to fry them. Ignore the saxophone coming from the basement. Thomas is practicing, but here we have the next stage of the eggplant. This is half a cup of almond milk with a teaspoon of cornstarch. This is kind of like your egg substitute that's going to help the flour and the breadcrumbs cling to the eggplant. So I actually haven't whisked those together, but you're gonna wanna make sure that those kind of combined together and then you're gonna dip into flour and then into a mix of panko breadcrumbs some salt I have some pink Himalayan sea salt oregano and nutritional yeast and then you're going to lay out your eggplant on a baking sheet and put it in the oven for 20 minutes so hopefully those will be ready to go by the time the squash is done I don't think it'll take 20 minutes but there's no issue if they just sit on the pan until they're ready to go in you know get prepared but this is what one tray looks like delicioso it's gonna go in for 20 minutes okay so the squash is just about done so I thought we would take a peek at it see how it's doing if it needs any extra time or if it's all done let's pull one out 
That looks pretty freaking done to me, but let's do a test with a fork. Oh, yes. That's some nice squash. <laughs> Who would have thought you could get so excited about squash? The second one. And then we can put our eggplant in. I haven't finished making the second tray of eggplant because I decided to do the dishes instead. So I still have some more eggplant to do, but this tray here is ready to go in the oven for 20 minutes. And it's actually gonna go in at 350. So I'm gonna turn it down a little bit and do 15 minutes instead, just to make sure that it doesn't get burnt. Let's finish doing this so we can get rid of these dishes and tidy up a little bit. Also, if you have a larger eggplant like I did, you're gonna need some more flour. I ran out of flour and I'm running low on the almond milk and the breadcrumb mixture. So just so you know, you might need a little bit more. Okay, so once these bad boys are done, they have another six minutes, you're going to put them into a skillet that has some oil in it. So to kind of prep, you wanna put it on medium heat and get the oil in there so it's nice and hot by the time the eggplant is ready to go into the skillet. Yoo-hoo! All right, so then you put these bad boys, once they're done in the oven, into the oil for two minutes. This is like, they're on their flip side so this is kind of what it looks like they're like a little bit brown and they just sit in that oil and then I'm gonna put them back onto this pan because then they go back into the oven for some browning and the second pan of um, eggplant is currently in the oven so that has another 15 minutes so this should all be fried up and done by the time this is ready and this is good because it gives you some time to kind of clean up your bowl situation so you don't have a bunch of um, dishes just lying around that's like kind of a personal preference i hate having mess so i hate christmas i hate it oh the poor baby grinch do you want to go decorate the tree and pause the grinch daniel little grinch is so freaking creepy it's time to decorate the freaky fracky tree. The cold legitimately bothers me and I don't like to be outside and in it. Anyway. Yay, guys, look at the ornaments. This one I bought for my mom from the Christmas market in Paris. I got it last year for her. It has the Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower. And it says Paris on it. This is my star, it has my name on it. My API Dublin. 
my study abroad Irish door. If you were wondering how the eggplant of Parmesan turned out, this is what it looks like. Served over some spaghetti. I put um, nutritional yeast instead of Parmesan on top of mine. And then I put Parmesan on my mom's because I know that's how she likes it, but I'm not sure about yours. We got some salad that I slaved over myself. Just kidding. It's uh, Olivia's spring mix with herbs and some salad dressing. And we're gonna go feast on this stuff. Yummy! Good morning. We don't want to be focused, but we need to be focused because today is Friday. Happy Friday, everyone! I'm here to show you my work outfit just like I have the past few days. Today is cast.